I wait about 10, 15 minutes to go back in there. Come on, bro. Hold up. The last time I went, he in there by himself, wheezing. Wow. <laughs> Can't breathe. Can't breathe. On the real. Standing up against the wall. He had these inhalers that he took out. He started using those. And he seemed to be getting better. And then it just progressively, progressively got, worse. got worse. Then he slid down the wall and sat on the floor. I slid down next to him. He had a big old manila envelope, too, as well. Wow. With all these documents. And then the engineer of the studio came and sat on the other side. And he trying to explain to him, like, this is what Jerry Heller been doing. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. This is good a little bit. Go back to easy a little bit. Like, with him passing away and with everything that happened and you knew all his kids and stuff, mm -hmm. did you ever try to link up with his kids and do I, stuff with them and be there for them? Every time, bro. You see we what close. I'm saying? We real close. Okay. Yeah, real close. Because I ask this question to people all the time. Like, so we can this say, is what I did. When I came home from prison, I started throwing these little shows, these functions on his birthday. That's hard. That's what I start doing. And then his kids start coming. Wow. And once they start coming and stepped up, I stepped back. Because my whole thing is I didn't want his legacy to die. Wow. Because I don't appreciate how we talk about Tupac and Big, and I understand, like, they died in controversy. So, naturally, the story is going to, you know, have a, a broader effect. But Easy was the spearhead for most of that stuff. Oh, right? yeah. It, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? The godfather. Definitely. Think about it. The FBI tried to, like, take him up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Try to stop him from ha rapping like that and stuff like that. So why we can't talk about him in the same vein? No, you're Do you right. understand what I'm you're saying? Right. You're and right. it's like, my whole thing was, I just didn't want him to get watered, you know, watered down and washed away. How was Jerry Hell in his, his, his relationship after he let him go? How long, and, and how long? Um, you, they didn't, what you mean? You mean, and how, did they, they never talked again? After they split? Yeah. Not that I know of. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah, I, I don't know, know how long it was before he passed away. Um, it was quite fast, bro. Um, right after a, he fired him? Yeah, bro. It was a matter of weeks. Yeah. Weeks? Yeah. Yep. Damn. My memory my memory was nine days. Nine days? Yeah, that's that's what I remember. It could have been a little longer, but it was that fast, yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I asked that is because it's just, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, you're looking at all the situations trying to figure out, okay, what, these trifectas we hear about the gloominess and everything i'm right, just right. trying to understand is there you yeah, know just trying really to figure fast, it out bro. bro it happened really fast um when he came like when you said he passed out we was in the studio we had to turn our album in so we had a song with him featured on it and all he had to do was come in there and rap his verse so when he actually came from this uh came from he came from the hospital the night before so he went to the, he to the, the night before yeah he his bronchitis acted up so he went to the hospital came Went to the pharmacy, came to the studio, and um, he had these art. These other artists end up popping up, and was talking to them, talking to him about something. So when I would come out, I didn't even know he was in there. He was in the lobby. I've been there for like two hours before wow. he got there, right? So I come into the lobby, like, "Damn, you here?" I'm like, "Come on, man! Like, come and do this shit." I just smoked all my weed. I'm in there, <laughs> like, "Man, come do this shit." On the real, you got eight bars to put on the damn song. Yeah. Man. The people out there talking to him, talking to him, he tell me, "Hold up." I'm like, all right. I wait about 10, 15 minutes to go back in there. Come on, bro. Hold up. The last time I went, he in there by himself wheezing. Wow. <laughs> Can't breathe. Can't breathe. On the real. Standing up against the wall. He had these inhalers that he took out. He started using those. And he seemed to be getting better. And then it just progressively, progressively got, worse. got worse. Then he slid down the wall and sat on the floor. I slid down next to him. He had a big old manila envelope, too, as well. With all these documents, and then the engineer of the studio came and sat on the other side, and he trying to explain to him like, "This is what Jerry Heller been doing. Look at this. Look at that." This in the midst of the last and, time. Yeah, on the real. The, the day he went to the and hospital. And at this time, nobody <laughs> even tried to call the ambulance. This what I'm trying to tell you. We sitting there, we allowing this to go on for about ten or fifteen minutes, and then when I started looking at him, he started sweating. I went and got his bodyguards and was like, y'all got to come get him. Wow. And when they walked in and they seen him, they big old dudes, they just picked him up, took him to the car, straight to the hospital. So he was having money to the day he passed. Oh, absolutely, bro. So people, because they try to make it look like, but he was having paper. Come on, man. But Jerry Ella mm -hmm. was ripping him off. Yeah, that's what he ended up finding out. Right, because yeah. that's from that paper. I think he trusted him so much that he wasn't really checking everything. 
And but then, he was get, but according to the movie he was getting warnings from all I those see, other people all those exactly, other people but exactly. he just didn't trust to look I think into I, it I, I don't know I mean I, to put myself in his shoes I would assume that he was getting so much money because they said they was making like 10 million a month or something like that so it was like you ain't really tripping too much you know what I'm saying yeah. like I, I think that's what it was for him but was but it true that he gave his um, girlfriend the stuff and said, look into this? And she that was I, the one that who know, uh, discovered that, you know, because that's what the movie shows. Like, not that I know uh, She was the one who discovered that, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't okay. know, yeah. Because I told you, we didn't know her. This was a girl he used to keep away. He used yeah. to hide her from everybody. Wow. All the other ones we seen, you know what wow. I'm saying? But this one, we never met that was the before. one. Yeah, I assume so. That's what he thought anyway. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.